So I've just finished the morning at the convention. I didn't film too much because I was just buying. Um, I brought a lot of good stuff. Some of the prices, like the sets were absolutely incredible priced. The minifigures were absolutely awfully priced, like really, really expensive. Like you're looking at eight to 10 pound per clone trooper, like just standard 501st clone trooper. Um, some of the other minifigures were like 20, 30, 40, 100 quid. And yeah, the prices were crazy. I brought some really, really good sets. I, I'm going to do probably a separate video on the sets that I've bought um, because we're just at GBK getting some food with the fam. Um, and I think they're going to go back to the car and I'm going to have another half an hour in there because it's going to close. So hopefully I'll get some even better deals because they'll want to just get rid of the stuff. So I'll ask for some sets for cheaper because there's a few more things I've eyed up. Um, yeah, honestly guys, I've done well. I think I've done really, really well. So yeah, look forward to some more footage and I will show you guys what I've bought maybe at the end of the video or in a separate video. This place is beautiful. It's probably very windy, but it is beautiful out here. and it was such a good time it was like really really busy so we went out for lunch like halfway through and then I went back in on my own because my little one and partner just didn't want to walk around all again because there was just so much to look at this is what I bought I'm going to go through like an in-depth of exactly what I bought how much it's cost me yeah it's I did well I did extremely well so first of all we got the landing craft with the Wicked Brick stand and seven Stormtroopers. And right, this was an absolute killer price. Turned out that each Stormtrooper was two pound, originally five pound, but he was packing up for the day and I was like, just give me your best on these. He said, oh, you're doing for two pound each. That's absolutely amazing. The Wicked Brick stand with the Imperial Landing Craft, that was 20 pound. That was 20 quid. £34 for all of that. How crazy is that? And then we went and got new gun ray for £6. And then I've always wanted this minifigure. Mini it's been ages since I got it. Got Lando Carizium. Really like that minifigure. I've always wanted that for a while. Then we have the Razor Crest for £30. Got absolutely all the bits, all the pieces, uh, no minifigures because he wanted like extra for the minifigures and I literally had, I've got Mando, I've got Grogu, I've got other minifigures. So 30 quid for that is absolutely amazing deal. And then this is where it got interesting because I saw this and I was like, oh, I really want to use yes TIE Fighter, right? 200 pound, I was going to buy one on Vinted for, no box, nothing. It was just £200. And I was like, okay, that's a pretty good deal. Until I saw this, right? And without giving anything away, it did not cost me £200. It cost me 10% of that. This cost me 20 quid, And it cost me 20 quid because there's no Lego logo on the bricks. It's an actual fake. And you would not tell the difference. The only reason I didn't put the plate on it is because it says Space Battle. So this is pretty much the same. Sticker is in okay condition. And the rest of it looks just how the UCS Lego Toy Fighter would look. It's it's crazy. So I actually went in, really wanting a UCS Toy Fighter. That was like my main goal. 
there wasn't one in there, like the original. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to get one today. Like, I'll have to go back home and spend 200 quid on it. And then this was like under... So this guy was selling Funko Pops, right? He had about 300 Funko Pops. And underneath the table was this. And I only saw it because I saw this bit sticking out. Like, that was just on the floor. And I, like, pulled up his, like, black sheet from under the table. And I was like, oh, my God, UCS TIE Fighter. Like, mate, I was like, mate, are you selling this? Like, I didn't even look at it closely. I was like, are you selling it? He was like, yeah, yeah, 30 quid. And I was going, what? 30 quid? I quickly like looked and I was like, okay, right, it's fake Lego. That's fair enough. 30 quid is just an absolutely incredible price. And I was like, how much would you do for it? And he was like, yeah, I'll do it for 20 for you. Like, I don't care if you don't like fake Lego, if you don't collect it. When I've got a UCS TIE Fighter right in front of me that looks the spitting image of the original, put this plate on here and you know just change space battle you have literally got yourself the ucs tie fighter but instead i paid 20 quid for it it's just crazy so 20 pound uh, 30 pound so that was 50 quid just there and then 34 pound there with these minifigures as well so i didn't even spend a hundred pound oh no i did i spent just just over a hundred pound that is a very very awesome day out Look at how awesome that looks together. Oh, this room is becoming so cool. Add in a couple of fakes. That was 20 quid. That was 200 pound. And you could not tell the difference. Absolutely buzzing. I'm gonna end the mini vlog there. It was such an awesome day. Can't wait for the next convention. And just a little teaser of what's coming up soon on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Cheers.